Okay, welcome to my CEH version 9 question review guide. Here we're dealing with questions 6 through 10. Alright, first question. One of the big things you want to make sure you understand is privacy when it comes to data being thrown away. If the data or the information is in the garbage, what is that called? Especially when you can go into any alley and go dumpster diving for the paperwork. Because if the paperwork is in the garbage, that process is called dumpster diving. That's important because you actually see that quite often on exam material. All right, question two is if when a server is set with a Trojan, you might want to make sure you understand the different things and the different types uh, of the uh, Trojans. So the big three that I wanted to look at, botnet, remote access, and banking. The Bacon Trojan typically deals with banking information. The Remote Access, or RAT, it normally deals with Remote Access. And Botnet, which normally is also associated with a RAT, or Remote Access Trojan. So, for example, if you hijack a email server, and you're sending out information, that indirectly is remote access so it could either be bot or botnet or remote access it won't be ransomware it won't be phishing because specifically we're looking at types of trojans while it may be a phishing attempt it's not a phishing trojan because again the goal here is understanding the different types of trojans so if you are compromising a web server to send out spam and it's asking about what type of Trojan it is, think botnet or think remote access. Again, if it is to collect banking information, it's a banking Trojan. Alright, question three. Counter-based authentication. Normally this deals with a token that is randomly generated and only lives for so long. Uh, if you're used to playing WoW, for example, when your account gets compromised, you get a generating um, fob that will generate a counter-based token. And it is valid for X amount of time. And you, as a client, will plug in your token and it will authenticate against the auth authentication server. And again, that token only lives for so long. Question four. Understand the differences between welling, dumpster diving, and tailgating. For example, when you go after a wealthy individual, it's welling. If you're looking through garbage on the curb, dumpster diving. Tailgating is when you follow someone in. For example, you may be on the phone, you may have donuts, you may have something in your hands, and you kind of just follow a crowd in to see if you can get in without anyone checking your ID or having a badge in. Because again, if your your hands are full, it's really hard to badge yourself in. And people are human, and you'll be surprised how often they let people tailgate. Last question for this time is when you're looking at buying a biometric system, what are some considerations? The two major considerations that I look at is how long it takes to create a user profile and the time it takes to authorize users, both to accept or reject that user based off of their biometric profile. These are two good answers. However, if both of them are exam questions, the best answer is time to accept or time to reject because once the users are created it may be a more lengthier pro process getting them created but if uh, it's taking five to ten minutes to authorize each user whether it be accept or reject that user long term that's going to be a bigger penalty so again both are good options but time to take to authorize the users is the best option. All right, that's five questions. We're down to 
Well, we've gone through 10 so far. Leave questions in the comments, and I will answer them when I can. Thank you.